As always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best price on tools and parts I use in today's video. Today we have this 2011 Nissan Sentra and the customer has a P0101. It's like a mass airflow code. So we're gonna be looking at what possibly is it? How do we diagnose it? How do we figure out what's going on? Let's check it out. Okay guys, and as always, don't forget to throw up a like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. The first and most obvious thing it's going to be our mass airflow sensor right here and you can try and clean that and they sell a special mass airflow cleaner at your local part store and that can help and the the lady today her story was two years ago she took it to the dealership and had it replaced and then it worked fine up until two weeks ago when she had a friend of hers they took it out and cleaned it with the mass airflow cleaner and then the code went off again the car drove normal again and then today or in the last two days she drove it it started driving it started accelerating a little funny and the light came back on so now i'm out here looking at it she's just wondering what could it be other than the mass airflow sensor so the other probable causes would be unmetered air okay so basically your mass airflow sensor is going to measure the amount of air coming into the engine and it's going to start right here so all the air on this side is not measured so it doesn't matter you could not even have an air cleaner doesn't matter everything from this side matters so if there's any kind of hole and say this tube say this this little vacuum hose right here this little vacuum hose right here it goes down up under there and down there so any kind of vacuum hose if as a whole it's going to be sucking in air it's going to be unmetered air it's going to cause your car to kind of drive funny and that can cause this code so what you would do first of all start your car and then listen to the vehicle see if you can hear anything with your ear something that just sounds like a straw sucking air mm. and if you don't you can take carb cleaner or starter fluid be very careful you don't want to hit anything hot you don't want to cause a fire you don't want to catch your car on fire but go ahead and just start spraying while the car is running and if you hit one of those holes your engine idle is going to go up and what's happening is it's sucking in that fluid and it's gonna make the engine rev a little bit. So that would be the first thing you check for. Um, obviously, these these sensors are so cheap. I would first thing I'd probably do if this is my own car personally is I'd probably just order one off Amazon, put it on, and reset the code. If that doesn't fix it, that's when I would be looking for an air leak. And then the electrical connector. Okay, so we're looking here. The wires look okay, and we can just kind of look down through there. We don't see anything weird. A lot of times, if you have an electrical wire problem, there's gonna be, maybe you live in the country, maybe you have some corn like next to your car or something, and you got little mice over here that are coming in here, now they're biting your wires up. Or if you get in an accident and your wiring harness is like up by your fender or something and you break a wire. So that's less common of a problem, but that is pretty much the other possibilities. Um, just do a quick visual inspection of the wire and then that little spray test like I showed you. And then you can you can spend the eight, ten dollars on the cleaner, but they're just so affordable today, like probably like 10, 20 bucks, maybe 30 bucks. Um, I would just go ahead and try and replace it. So that is what we do for that P0101. So thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.